Hey guys, good morning. I have a video today for you guys that I'm super excited about. I'm gonna be talking about making money as a coach and what the big things that hold us back and the things that you need to be doing to actually allow that money to be coming into you, to be coming into your business and to be earning the income that you really want to have in your coaching business. I know this is one of the biggest when they are getting started in their business. And so I want to go through this. Hey Denise, how are you? Yes, this is such a good topic. Um, I wanna go through this. I wanna give you guys some things that you may have not even thought about that are really going to shift your mindset about making money. Um, really like this has been one of the things that has changed for me so much through starting my business and becoming an entrepreneur and the mindset shifts that I've had to make to actually go through and make an income and make more money than I've ever earned you know working for someone else um, it's really shifted me myself like my relationship with money and so I'm excited to share that with you guys so I just want to go through like some of the big things that come up for coaches when they're getting started in their business and I hear these things all the time and a lot of times we think like we're the only one and something's wrong with us why are we feeling this way so I just want to share some of the things that I hear from people um, so some of the big ones are fear of asking for money for our services um, fear of people thinking that we're charging too much or we're asking too much for the coaching that we're doing um, fear of coming across as salesy or pushy um, what are some of the other things some of the things that come up for us is, is believing like I'm not good at business I'm not good with money um, I'm not good at getting out there and talking to people and asking for money let me know if you <laughs> if any of those resonate with you um, being afraid of your clients not getting results and then charging charging money for your services and you're like oh my gosh what if people don't get results that's a big thing that comes up for people uh, a lot of times getting stuck in like I don't know how to ask for money I don't know how to run a business um, I don't know how to do accounting like all that stuff um, yeah being afraid that you're gonna make people uncomfortable by saying that you charge money for your services um, who am I to charge this money who am I to ask for money for a service that I'm offering that comes up for a lot of people um, and a belief a lot of a lot of you guys have beliefs and I, I hear this from you guys all the time that people won't pay for coaching they can't afford it or they don't really understand what coaching is and that therefore they're not gonna be willing to invest money into it um, yeah Eugenie is saying that you're concerned people won't get results that's a that's a big one for a lot of people when they're getting started so I want to talk about all these things and I want to give you guys um, five main tips of, of things around money and ways that you can start thinking about it and believing that's going to really shift for you. Um, and why this is so important, money is such a huge topic, right? Um, and I, I like to think about money, like our relationship with money is kind of, in society, is kind of like people's relationship with with sex like like it's like this topic that's like taboo and no one can talk about it and it's something that's so important and prevalent and part of everyone's life but it's like we can't talk about it you know it there's all the shame around it like we have all these rules around it things that we've learned from society and our parents and um, you know all these things that make us feel like uncomfortable about it and I think that that is such a huge thing with money and it comes up for so many of us and it makes it very challenging when we become an entrepreneur even when we're trying to make a certain income um, in our business or even if you're an employee like we have all these weird um, beliefs around money and limitations around money and so I really want to just like talk about that and help you make some mindset shifts that are going to change that so instead of it becoming like this source of shame and this thing that we can't talk about and it's you know um, just like a lot of people have icky feelings about it um, I want it instead to for it to be something that can empower you and improve your life and be something really positive for you for your clients um, and help you create a better life and create a bigger impact in the world because the thing is 
that money is essential to freedom, right? Money is essential for us to create the life that we want and to be able to live a good life and for us to be able to make a big impact on the world. So it's very challenging to make a big impact and to give back in the world in a big way if we aren't taken care of financially ourselves. Like you are not able to be your best version of yourself if you're constantly worried about money, right? Because you're like, how am I going to pay my bills? I can't buy the organic food I want to buy. I can't do, you know, like the fitness classes I want to do or the traveling I want to do. And if that is all things that your soul is calling you to do and you know that would help you live a better life and be a better version of yourself, then it's limiting to you as far as how you're able to show up in life, right? So I want us to really see this, like that money is, it's really a good thing because it allows us to step into being a more powerful version of ourselves and being able to give back in a bigger way. So let me see what you're saying, Roxanne. Yeah, so um, Roxanne's saying something she's been thinking about lately is the people that she's helping are in a bad place so she would feel bad to charge them for help. And a lot of us think that, right? But I want you to think about it like, like this too, like any sort of professional, like every job, every service that's out there, it's solving a problem for someone, right? So there's some sort of problem that people have and this service is fixing that problem. And so we shouldn't feel bad charging someone by helping them fix a problem okay it's like if let's say your car broke down and the the car service place is like I feel so bad that your car broke down like you're in a bad spot you really need your car so I'm not gonna charge you for fixing your car like that's silly right like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense like so I want us to think about it like that too and this is the other thing so when it comes to making these changes in your in your life and making this transformation people actually get better results when they are investing money into something because they're more committed and they're more likely to follow through when people get something for free a lot of times they don't take it seriously and they aren't really committed and a lot of times they're not going to follow through and actually do it so by investing this money they're they've got their they've got their skin in the game is that what it's called <laughs> and um, they're much more likely to follow through and get those results so we can actually look at this like as a good thing so same thing like a doctor or like going to the emergency room right they're not gonna be like oh my gosh I feel so bad like you know you're you're dying I'm not gonna charge you anything like no they're gonna charge you a lot of money for that because it's it's a valuable service, right? Like think about how valuable that is if you're saving someone's life or you're offering this huge service that's gonna really change someone's life. Like that's so valuable. So um, just a little bit of a, a shift around that. But that's a really good thing to bring up because I know a lot of people feel that way too. They're like, oh, I, should, I feel so bad. I shouldn't charge these people. But that's actually doing them a disservice. So, um, okay. So I wanna give you the five steps that I wrote down that I want you to go through and really think about these things because they're going to really help you shift your relationship with money, which is going to shift your ability to make money in your business. Okay. So number one is just really getting familiar with your beliefs around money and wealth. Okay. So as I was saying in the beginning, most of us have been raised with certain beliefs around money. A lot of times we pick up these beliefs from our family, sometimes from like religion or from society, um, you know, how we're raised. We get all these um, beliefs and stories that we adopt as our own about money. And I want to go through just a few of these that I hear a lot and I know a lot of people have that I think really limit us, okay? So some of the beliefs are that it's bad or greedy to have a lot of money and that people that do have a lot of money are evil or greedy, right? This is, <laughs> believe it or not, this is a belief that a lot of people have and maybe it's a belief that you have as well. And I want to just, I want you to question these beliefs and I want you to ask, are these beliefs true? 
and can they absolutely be proven as true? And if they're not, I want you to question that and I want you to really be like, do I wanna continue believing this? And this is how I know that that is not true because if you look at the world, there's a lot of people that have a lot of money that are doing a lot of really great things in the world and they're using their money to make amazing changes and make great things happen. If you look in the world, there's also a lot of people that have a lot of money who might be doing not so great things in the world, right? But if you look at this too, if there's a lot of people in the world that don't have any money or have very little money that are doing good in the world, that's true too. And there's a lot of people in the world that don't have much money or don't have money and they're doing evil or bad in the world. So the fact that someone has a lot of money or doesn't have a lot of money has nothing to do with being good or doing good in the world or being bad and doing bad in the world. So I just want you to see the truth of that and to question that if that is a belief that you have. Um, another belief is that a lot of times we think that there's like this pile of money that's available and that by us taking more of that money for ourselves or us earning more of that money for ourselves that we're taking away from other people. And I want you to see that that isn't true either and that actually by us making more money, we're not taking away money from anyone else. There's not like this pile of finite money and if we take more, there's less from other for other people. A lot of times by us making more money, we're inspiring other people to do the same thing and to make more money for themselves as well. So I just want you to see that one too because that's one I hear about a lot. Um, what was the other one? Yeah, so, and the big one was, you know, the money as far as money does equal, gives us more power in our lives and that you can use that power for good or for evil, obviously good or bad. And so if more people who have an intention of making good things happen in the world, more of those people have more money, they have more power to make those things happen, right? So it's really good to get money into the hands of the people who are trying to do good in the world so that they have more power to make that happen. So just want you guys to see that. Do you guys have any beliefs that really come up for you around money? Um, if you do, type them in because I'd love to see them and address them. But those are some of the biggest ones that I hear and I just want you guys to look at them and to question them for yourselves if those are some of the things that you're believing. Um, but I even write them down, like what are any of the beliefs that you have around money about it being bad or good or you know, what are those ones that come up for you? Like I said, if you wanna share them, feel free to do that. So number two is getting familiar with your personal story about money. So your personal money story. And a lot of times this goes back to when we were young or maybe even when we got our first job or when we first started getting money. A lot of us have beliefs around money like making money is really hard. Making money is really difficult. Um, as soon as I make money, it goes right back out the door, right? Like I make money and then it's gone. Or as soon as I make money and then I lose it. Um, or what are some of the other ones? That I can only make a certain amount of money. Yeah, okay, so this is a good one because I'm glad you, let me pop back at this. I'll get back at that one. But um, Eugenie's saying that the belief that you're not, a religious belief that you're not supposed to have money, right? Um, and, don't really know like where this okay <laughs> don't want to get too into this but where this did come from like if you go back into religion and you kind of look at like religion is really there to like inspire people and to help people and to um, you know help give us these beliefs that inspire us and make us better people but a lot of what happened with religion and if you kind of look back in history you can see what happened is that um, a lot of the people who were authorities in um, society or you know nobility or the people who were running society used religion to control people and so they came up with a lot of rules and shifted things that were even in Bible scripture like whatever to try to control people and I think one of those things is trying to tell people that having money is not good or that it's you know sacrilegious or whatever and that you should be poor and be happy with that um, and so 
a lot of that stuff is kind of interesting, but I think when you look at religion and kind of what happened and, and how things evolved, you can actually see that that's really a lot of what happened is, is it was a way to try to control, you know, the, the lower class or people and by telling them like a lot of these, these beliefs and rules. And so, um, when you can start to question these things, like, is it true? Is it true that having money is sacrilegious or that it makes me greedy or that it's, it's not, it's, you know, makes me less godly or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is. Like, is that true? Like question those things for you. Okay. I really want you to like take power into your own hands and not just believe these things that you've been told. Okay. That's where your power lies. So, um, but that's such a good one. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, okay. But this also goes into your personal money story as well. Right? So, what what are those money stories that you have like is it that you know it's, it's super hard to make money i have to work really hard to make money i have to choose between my family or making money um you know maybe around like women and, and maybe women aren't supposed to make more money than their husbands or like whatever these things are like what are these beliefs or stories that you have around money so, and the, the pattern that a lot of us get stuck in is under earning. So earning less money and less money than we want and less money than we know that we're capable of making, right? Um, and a lot of us just accept this and we are just, we just think it's the way it is and that we don't have any control over it. And what I want you to know is that you do and if you do want to make money in your life, more money in your life, and you and you know, like, kind of in your heart that you're capable of doing it, then you're under earning for what is possible for you, and there's more that you can be doing, and you can create more money. And so, one of the things that you can really ask yourself is, how much money do I want to be making per year? What what is that number? And you can look at then how much am I making right now? And then if you ask yourself, why am I making, why am I not making what it is that I want to be making and instead I'm making what I'm making right now, that answer that you'll get as far as why you're not making what it is you want to be making, there's going to be a lot of um, wisdom in that answer for you. Because what that is, is an excuse or a story you're telling yourself as to why you can't have the money that, or why you can't be making the money that you wanna be making. And I just want you to see that as an excuse or a story, there's no truth behind it, okay? Um, and when you can start seeing these things, then that is when you can start changing them. So um, if any of you guys went through and you did this and you kinda of asked yourself like, why am I not earning what it is I wanna be earning? If you wanna share it in the comments, like. I'd love to see it. I think it's helpful um, for all of us to go through it because the thing is, all of us are telling ourselves similar stories as to why we're not making the money we wanna be making. And it might be things like, um, I don't know how to do it, I don't have enough time, um, I can't do it because of my kids, because of my spouse, because of my schedule, um, because I'm limited in my job by how much I can make or how much time I have. Like, what what are those stories that you're telling yourself about that okay really look at those and question those are they true okay i can tell you they're not <laughs> they're not true um but it's a story and when you can see it it's it's gonna be super powerful for you okay so go through and do that i promise you it's gonna change things for you when you can start seeing these things um okay so that's number two number three is I want you to start thinking about creating from your future possibility as opposed to from your past evidence, okay? And I wanna explain what I mean by this. Um, but a lot of times when we think about creating money, we are thinking about what we've created in the past, either what we've made as an employee um, or what we've maybe made so far in a business. Maybe we've been working on a business our business for a while and we've been struggling and we haven't been making money with it and therefore what we think is because I haven't been able to make money in the past I'm not gonna be able to make it in the future or because I've only been able to make this amount of money so far 
um, or even as an employee, I'm not going to be able to make more than that as an entrepreneur or I'm not going to be able to make more than that because I haven't done it before and I don't know how, right? And so what I want you to see is that if we, if you are trying to create anything in the future based off of evidence in the past, you're going to just keep creating the same thing that you've already created, right? So let's say, um, you know, this year in my business for, ex for just giving like an example, let's say you've made like $20,000 in your business and then you're like, I, I only know how to make $20,000. I'm not, I don't know how to make any more money than that. So I don't, I can't do it. And what I want you to see is that if you think that way, you're going to keep yourself stuck. But if you think this way, like I made $20,000, I know how to make money. And if I made $20,000, I can make $40,000 and I believe that I can do it. And I believe I can do it. I may not know exactly how it's going to happen, but I believe I can make it I can make that happen. That's how we can create anything new in our future, right? We can't base it off of what we've done in the past. Your past has no indication of what's possible for you in the future. So it doesn't matter if you've never made any money. It doesn't matter if you've been a stay-at-home mom for the last, you know, 20 years, whatever, and you haven't been making your own income. Like that has no indication as far as what's possible for you in the future. So what I want you to do is start really creating from your belief and from your future of what is possible for you and what you want to create as opposed to looking to the past to try to find evidence as far as what you can do in the future. Let me know if that makes sense to you guys, but it, it's super, super powerful because the most important thing is your belief and believing that you can do it. And then what happens is you're just gonna want to take action. And of course, I think it's really helpful to get some support and to learn you know, how to move forward in your business if that's something you don't know how to do. But still, you're gonna have to take action and you're not gonna know exactly how everything's gonna work out. But if you have that belief and you know for sure, like. I absolutely believe I'm gonna make $40,000 in my business. Then you just go to work taking that action and you can make it happen, okay? So you may not know exactly how, but you'll believe you're gonna make it and then you just keep taking action until it happens, okay? Yes, it's making sense to you guys, I love it. I love it, it's so cool when you start thinking about this this way. And what you can think about too, like I like to have like, I have this special little person that gives me advice and who that person is is my future self right so if I look at how much money I want to be making so for me I will tell you like my my future my goal right now is to get to a million dollars I want to get to a million dollars in my business like that is a goal for me and so when I'm trying to make decisions in my business I try to make them from that person who has already accomplished that goal so if I'm already making a million dollars in my business, what is it that I would do? What is, how is it that I would act? How would I show up every day? What would I be doing? What actions would I be taking? Would I be sitting in indecision and confusion? Or would I just be going out there and doing things, taking action, seeing what happens, and then if I need to make changes, doing that? That's what I'd be doing and I know that. So I want you to put yourself into the shoes of the person who's already making the money that you wanna be making and then make decisions from that place, okay? And this is the other thing, is set goals for yourself that are a stretch, but they're believable. Like you don't wanna like start your business and be like, if you're at the very beginning, setting a goal maybe for like 100,000 or 200,000 or whatever, something that seems totally unbelievable for you, like in that first year, pick something that feels like a stretch, but at least you can like grasp onto it. You're like this, it feels like a big stretch, but it feels believable, like I know I can do it, okay? So when you're setting those goals for yourself, think about it that way, all right? Okay, so number four. <laughs> this is a mindset shift for you that um, I think really helps when it comes to thinking about your coaching and asking for money. So what I want you to start thinking about is that the way that you create money in your life and in your business is by creating value in the world, okay? So by creating more value in the world, you create more money for yourself, 
okay? So your, the value that you're creating in the world is a direct indication or a direct reflection of the money that you're making as well. So this obviously can be used as an entrepreneur. So we're creating value for people, right? We're coming up with some sort of program and we're creating some sort of transformation or result for people that is highly valuable, okay? Um, and then someone is paying us in exchange for that value. So money is valuable, your services are valuable. So there is an exchange of money for those services and it's an exchange of value and it's an even exchange. So I want you to start thinking about it that way um, and really thinking about this is value I'm creating in the world and I'm getting paid in exchange for that value. And I think that really helps us shift that mindset because a lot of times we, we think about it like I'm asking for their money or I'm taking their money. And that's, that's not how it works. You're, you're creating something valuable and you're getting money in exchange for that value that you're creating for that person, okay? So I want you to start thinking about it that way. Really think about the value of what it is you're offering. If you help them make this change or this transformation, you help them get the specific result in their life, how is it gonna change their life? How is it gonna change how they feel about themselves, how they show up in the world, um, how they interact with their partner, with their family, um, how much money they're able to make, um, you know, their health, like how is it going to change these areas of their life and how valuable is that? Like how valuable is that? I think so many of us undervalue the what it is that we offer as a coach and we don't realize or don't really think about if they start making these changes, how much it's going to change them and their life. Like it's it's unbelievable when you start thinking about it. Coaching is so, so powerful. Um, so I want you guys to like really start thinking about that value of what it is that you have to offer and how can you bring, how can you create more value? How can you bring more value to your clients? And this doesn't mean by giving them more stuff or giving them more information, it means showing up as a coach and helping them create those transformations. So it's all about the transformation. It isn't about giving people more information or giving them more stuff. So really think about that. How can I create a valuable transformation for them? Um, so the other thing I just wanted to bring up is just a little shift that I think a lot of people have um, when it comes from going from employee to becoming an entrepreneur. And I just want you to see that it isn't really much different. Um, the difference is as an employee, your the client or the customer is paying a company and then that company is paying you. As an entrepreneur, you're taking out the middleman, which is whatever, the company, and instead the customer is just directly paying you or the client is just directly paying you. So there's no difference except for that you're taking out that middleman, okay? And I want you to see this because a lot of times we think it's so different to go into a job and just get paid a salary, but I want you to see that you're still, there's still someone that's paying the company that you work for and that company is paying you for the value that you're offering to the, to the company, right? And when you're an entrepreneur, the only difference is that the customer or the client is directly paying you for the value that you're offering instead of it being paid to a company and then being paid to you for the for the value that you're offering to the company. So I just want you guys to see that because a lot of times people have like a really hard shift um, in their mindset as far as like getting paid a salary or getting paid um, you know from a company versus just getting paid directly from a client. And it's really not that different. So I just want you guys to see that. Um, but let me know if that makes sense to you guys if you have any questions so far. Um, I have one more step for you guys, step number five. So step number five is that in order to make money in your business, number one, you have to create that value, right? So I just talked about that in, in the last step in step four. But the second thing that you have to do is you need to get visible and you need to make offers for people to work with you, right? So I like to call this like the call to action for people to sign up to work with you or sign up for you know a free consultation with you. 
but you have to do this in order to get those paying clients. Because if you're not doing this, people don't know that they can sign up to work with you. They don't know that they should sign up for a free consultation with you. They don't know that you can help them create this transformation and that this is something that you do and that you offer as a service. So it's really important to start making those calls to action and making them regularly letting people know like, yes, this is something I can help you with. And it's a service and you have to get visible and you have to get in front of people and you have to get in front of a lot of people. Okay. Like this is, this is super important. If you want to have a consistent, sustainable business where you're bringing in that sustainable income over the long run, you have to continue to be getting out in front of people. And this is a big part of what I teach people with marketing and setting up marketing systems in place so that you're constantly getting in front of new people and bringing and building a community and you have those people to be making those calls to action too, okay? Super important, super, super, super important. Um, so your leads and your traffic are the gasoline to your business. Like that's what makes your business go. And that's obviously how you're going to create income in your business as well is by offering value to people, helping them create that transformation and then getting that money in exchange for that value that you're offering. Okay. So that's kind of like the, the whole system. Um, but let me know if you guys have questions about any of those things. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say was that for me, it's been very helpful. I like to think about, like, I think this creating value helps you think about it too, but I just like to say shifting your mindset from selling. Like a lot of times we go out there and we're thinking like, oh, I'm selling things, I'm selling things. And we feel like squeamish about it or icky about it. And when you can really think about it from creating value or from serving people, I'm serving people, I'm serving the world. And that doesn't mean you, have to do it for free. That doesn't mean you should be doing it free. It means that you should be getting money in exchange for the value that you're offering, right? And you're doing it as a service and you're not, you don't have to think about it like, oh, I'm going out there and selling. I really like to think about it even when I'm doing like consults with people that I'm there to serve them. Whether they become a client, whether they don't become a client, I'm showing up, I'm serving them on that call. And you know, if they sign up to work with me, that's awesome. If they don't, that's perfectly fine as well. But I really don't come from it as a place of like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to sell my service. Cause truly I just wanna work with the people that I really believe that I can help and that are a good fit for me as well. So a lot of times like that's what I'm thinking about on the call. I'm like, how can I serve this person? Um, am I the best fit to serve them? Can I help them get the results that they want? Um, and that's really where I'm coming from it. Yes, Eugenie, definitely need to make increased calls to actions and get in front of people. Yeah, a lot of times we're like, why aren't I making money? Why aren't I getting clients? And then, <laughs> and ask yourself that. And, and a lot of times it's because I'm not making calls to action and I'm not getting in front of enough people. And it's not because something's wrong with you. It's not because you're not capable of making money. It's not because you don't have something amazing to offer and you can't help people get results. It's literally like, there's not enough people that know what you're doing and you're not making calls to action to let them know that you can help them. And so a lot of times we get into this like mindset thing and we're like, something's wrong with me. I can't do it. I'm not good enough, whatever it is. And truthfully, a lot of times it really just comes back to the marketing and making sure that your mindset is really on board to allow you to get those clients and have that income coming in. Okay. So all these things that I was going through today, these are all the things that I go to go through with all of my clients. We dive into all the mindset stuff. We go through setting up all your systems for marketing so that you have that consistent stream of new people coming into your community. You're getting in front of people regularly. You're making those calls to action. Um, and you have a system in place for bringing those clients in, getting clients consistently. Um, and like I said, really working through like any of this mindset stuff that comes up for you and kind of blocks you from moving forward. So if you're interested in that and you want to find out more about working together, um, I will put a link around this, this video and you can sign up for a free call with me. But there's something so powerful to be said about making your own money. And one last thing I, I want to talk about is that um, I was actually watching a video that a coach that I worked with has, was doing and she was talking about, um, would you rather... Um, win a million dollars like in the lottery or would you rather make a million dollars and it's funny because a lot of people are like oh I'd, I'd rather win a million dollars because then I can just 
I don't have to do anything, right? And what I would say is I used to think that way, right? Because I used to think that I couldn't make my own money. I didn't know, like I was like, I didn't know I could do it. And now I can see like I can make money. I don't need someone to give it to me. I'm not reliant on someone else for it. Um, I can actually go out there and I can create money. And I think that that's one of the most powerful feelings. And it's so awesome to know that I don't have to like rely on someone else to give it to me um, and that I can actually go out and make it and I can make it in a way that feels really good to me by doing the work that I'm super passionate about. Um, and I can make that the money that I want to be making as long as I work through like the mindset stuff that allows me to get to that level. But there's really no limits as far as what we can make for ourselves as an entrepreneur. Um, and so when you know, like, I don't have to wait for the lottery to send me a million dollars, I can actually go out there and I can make a million dollars. And if I can make a million dollars, I can make two million, and I can make three million. And, you know, obviously it's at whatever level you want to, like, there's no right amount of money that any of us need to be earning and I think we all have different goals and different things that we want so that's why it's so good to get clear on what it is that you want for yourself and to set those goals for you um so do you guys have any questions any questions about money any things that you get really stuck on when it comes to money and your business let me know because like, I'll go through them um you guys are so welcome for your tips. Yes, what you're missing. Yeah, when you when you really start working on your money beliefs like and start questioning some of these things that you've been believing for so long, it just so helps you be able to move forward. And like I said, I think that being able to create your own income is just it's like so exciting. <laughs> like you're like I'm creating my own money. It's so exciting. So, um it's, it's totally awesome and it's, it's available to all of us um, and truly like the only thing that holds any of us back from doing it is just your mindset around it. And like I said, really that getting stuck in the past, like before I started my business, I had never made money on my own. I had never run a business. I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. And so, but if I had told myself I don't know how to do it um, and so I can't do it, I would have always been stuck and I would have never gotten to a place where I've been able to make my own money and make as much money as I want to be making. And so by instead believing in the future and in possibilities, that's how I've been able to do all that. So I just really want you guys to um, see that and really see that um, you can really start creating your money based off of what you want to do versus based off of what you've done in the past, okay? Um, you'll ask me tomorrow, okay, perfect, Denise. All right, any last questions, guys? If not, I'll wrap up. I love talking about money. I think money is awesome. Like, money makes makes your the life that you wanna be living possible. So it's really, I can learn anything. I love that, Eugenie, like that's so great. Tell yourself that all the time. Like, that's such a good thing to tell yourself. I can learn anything. I can learn how to make $100,000. I can learn how to make $500,000. I can learn how to make a million dollars if I want. I can learn how to be a successful business owner. I can learn how to be an amazing coach. It's true. You can learn how to do anything you want. Like people do it and they show that that's possible all the time. So I think that's like such a powerful thing to tell yourself. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Thank you so much, everyone who joined me. Um, I love talking about all this stuff and I love having you guys on. Um, if you have any questions or you catch the replay, let me know in the questions. If you're interested in speaking about working together, I'll put a link around this video and you can sign up for a call with me. Um, but I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Once again, thank you for joining me and I will talk to all you guys soon. Bye.